Hey everybody, Dan the Wolfman here, Gig at the Sky, and we're going to watch another crazy Garu Jima fight. We're still figuring out just what the heck this is. If you want to learn how to fight, get my combative street jiu-jitsu DVD on BJJ Fanatics. Subscribe to my page. Look at all my playlists. I've taught everything from all kinds of martial arts all throughout my lifetime. But we're going to watch some of this crazy Ganru Jima action again. Maybe we can figure out just what the heck these events are. We got some cool sleeveless geese and shorts going on. Looks like we got a kickboxer Machida versus some Koshti guy, Kakata. What is Koshti? I think that means Iranian wrestling with Persians somehow, even though the guy's Indian. I don't know what's going on. I don't really know what the difference is in Koshti versus regular wrestling. Maybe they wear a diaper like in sumo or in Syrian wrestling around the world. A lot of different countries and cultures have that. Anyway, we got the kickboxer on the left, and we got Koshti there in the cool blue gi. That's my favorite. I used to have a blue sleeveless gi. We got Ryu versus Ken. If you want to look at me, Ryu, dressed as Ryu versus the real street fighter, sumo wrestler. Look at that video against a professional sumo. Yeah, I did it on my channel. Anyway, guys, let's see. They're fighting in this ring. If they fall out, it's a pit of despair. I think they might die. I don't know if there's spikes. Uh, there might be snakes with some interesting distracting hands movements as I've taught here. Maybe he's looking to poke him in the eye. I don't know. We got a guillotine. We're going to get a slam. Ooh, almost DDT'd himself like Lama Nama Nui onto his own head there. You got to be careful. We've seen guys knock themselves out in the UFC before. Oh, he easily knee slides to mount. Lands some punches here. I think we're only allowed a little bit of time on the ground. And there we go. At least he... At least he clocked him three times good, it looked like, before the god of thunder and lightning stood him up. Now you got to watch your footwork. You don't want to back up to the edge of the ring, the platform. You don't want to fall in the pit of despair. Oh, easily pushed off his head. That's some interesting clinch defense. Trying to clinch me. Boom, he just, he just big brothered him, palmed, palmed his head. Couple punches and a ring out. Both guys go flying out. Could it see a double fatality there? I haven't seen much from the Koshti guy, but I like the swagger now. Ooh, the swagger now. Ooh, he's moving around the karate guy, the Kirataka, or I'm sorry, the kickboxing guy. Good right low kick lands there. A left kick to the liver. And just the charge and a bit of a headbutt there. I don't think that's allowed, but it goes on. Single leg takedown. Let's see if he's got that Koshti wrestling. Now, it's very basic. He doesn't know how to chain wrestle. That trail leg, he dropped on his knees. He speared at the mat. His head is down. Good takedown defense from the kickboxer. I wonder if he's ever fought in traditional MMA. I don't know if we would call Gemrojima MMA. It's mixed martial sumo Death Mortal Combat Fighting. I don't know what the acronym for that one is. M M M S S M K Combat. Because combat's only cool if it's spelled with a K. Little neck whip tape down. Easily bridged over here. Koshti Kakata on top. Well, Styles Koshti, but we're just going to call him. I like the sound of that. Koshti Kakata. Bridging him up, going to slam him down here. Might get a nice guard break. A little bit of a left hand sneaks in as the referee is breaking them up. Low kick lands there. The inside kick. Little jab lands. Oh, right knee. Very good. Got the clinch now. I guess he can grab the gi. Oh, let's see if he hockey fight him now. He's hockey fighting him now with knee strikes. Oh, beautiful, beautiful throw at the end there to the karate style, gaining a point. I don't know if he key out loud enough, but uh, but I like that Ashi Burai throw he did there. A little bit of like Enshin karate style, tripping him down. He was the Tai Sabaki method. But say this for Kakade, I mean, you know, the first time around, he clearly did not quite get the Gandujima style, but no, I guess no, that goes for every fighter. Yeah. And with a fighter with Mashida, you See know. some replays here, that slam from the 
guillotine attempt. Knee strike gets picked into a single leg, but see, he stops on the knees. I tried to turn the corner, but that right leg trail leg should have came up, man. I don't know what's going on in Coasty, but uh, here in America where we wrestle, we bring up our trail leg and we turn that corner. Nice rapid fire knee strikes. Pretty soon his legs are going to turn on fire. He's going to activate his chi and get some of the Ken action going on. Maybe he'll hit him with a tornado kick. Puts in that gum shield time to go back to work. Earn my little envelope filled with cash straight from the Yakuza. The way that they do. Hey. So anyway, guys, here we are okay. in Garujima. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Hitting him with those low kicks outside and inside again. Easily taken down, though. All right. Coasty guy starting to build a little bit of fire at him. Good little left punch there from Machida. Tries to slam guard break again. I mean, in judo in the old days, you picked them up, you held them there, uh, and then that stood you back up because they knew you could, in reality, slam them. You jujitsu wannabes out there, make sure that you remember how to hook that leg, arm bars and triangles. Uh, you'll get slammed on the streets. You're going to get rampaged, son, like a Rona. Oh, pushed out, but they both go out. I don't know if that earns Machida a point or not. I'm not seeing any raised hands. I don't know if this is completely arbitrary. If they both go out, he charges that low kick there. I don't know why he's not, like, you know, jabbing to the face first. <laughs> but now he's starting to have some fun, some swagger. No, it's, oh, <laughs> sidestep only. <laughs> Just as he was getting cocky. Just as I want to see that again. Just as he was getting so cocky on this guy and loading with kicks, seeing that he has no idea how to defend leg kicks. Whoop! He just whoosh, little Tai Chi Bakwa Koshki wrestling action shoved him to the side. Ole and Machida sees there that he messed up big time getting at that overconfidence. I think that definitely earned Koshti Kakata a point. I like the Kind of distracting. Boom, and right hand and left hook. Here we go. Oh, Machida's starting to feel the flow. He might get the glow. Right hand, left hook lands, but easily. Easily, Kazushi off balance there by Kakata. And, oh, Kakata's out, and he tries to drag him down, but I think that might get Machida the point. Machida scrambled that and got Kakata down that time, so I think ring outs are one-on-one -on -one, because the other times both of them went off, but who knows because, like, they don't explain the rules. And he front kick boots him out of the ring. He booted him out of the ring like, like Yuki Kondo front kick Frank Shamrock and his nose out of the ring just before, you know, I fought Yuki Kondo in Pancrase. Boot you out of the ring, boy. Nice knee. He's got to turn him, though. Nice. Use that Kazushi. Turned him there. I mean, in reality, if you're fighting in a store grocery shopping like Steven Seagal, you got to be able to turn and throw the guy into things. I mean, that's pretty important stuff. Almost eats the knee to the face while going on, but now he's got his head stuck in the center. I don't know. Coach D's Iranian style. Can he do an Iranian lift? I don't know. The guy's Indo uh, Indian, I think. I don't think he's going to be able to pull off an Iranian lift from here. Some nice punches to the liver there. I like that. I mean, you got that top sprawl front headlock position. Go to that liver side, man. Go to that liver side with the left hooks. Way Strong right kick, left hook, and a straight push out. And we see the fighting spirit of Kakata is going out. I got a feeling that if Machida gets one more push out, this could be the victory. What is that? Is that the end of the second round? It looks like the end of the second round here. Let's speed ahead here. They come on to the matted surface ring of death the circle of truth coming out for the third and i believe final round oh stabs at the mats i'm not impressed crucifix top crucifix position there hammer fist lands a great ground upon i think at this point they're like wanting this guy to die they're they're letting the pole kakata because i thought there was a five second ground limit what's going on here he's he's been on there for 15 seconds he landed like 25 hammer fists and elbows there Oh, I guess, I guess we're going to let the Japanese guy get as much ground and bound in as he wants. You know, because Japan, that's why. 
And I love Japan. I've been there, what, nine times? Lived there about a year and a half of my life. But uh, sometimes Japan, Japan's. Because that's what Japan does, because Japan, that's why. Bad clinch attempts. Telegraph. Kikade needs some fighting ability to go with his poor wrestling ability here. Except for that one beautiful sidestep. I don't know. I mean, uh, uh, even a clock right, clock is broken clock is right twice a day. He d double ring out there. Fatality. I think that would be cooler. I don't know. I think they should fill that moat with some, some, some snakes and eels. You know, they got out and they're like, they have eels stuck to their face and stuff. It would show the damage as their blood is getting sucked away. God, why didn't I ever get to fight a guy that had no fighting ability and just tee off on him? This is this is brutal. This this should this is not right. This is this shouldn't be allowed. There's this Indian guy gonna get deported, and they're like, here, here's this blue gi. Put this on and take a beating, or we're gonna deport you. Poor guy's probably working at you know one of the stores, just trying to get by, trying to. Bang some hot Japanese ladies. Not that I would ever recommend doing such an awesome thing as that. But, you know, I, I kind of wonder how this guy gets picked here. What is this guy's real background? Has he competed be in anything before in his life? Threw a halfway decent jab there in the weakest right hand I've ever seen on a man. Kind of a Tomonagi there. Throws him over. Ends up on bottom. Escaping. Look at that beautiful hip escaping. Getting the full guard here. Land some left hooks to the ear again. A little back behind the head shots. I guess Big John, God of Thunder and Lightning, allows this one. No Herb Dean stepping in on that. They're like, where are they going to let this poor... <laughs> Where'd they find this guy? There's a guy on the streets, and they're like, here's a couple hundred dollars, kid. Ooh, flying knee to the body. And Machida throws him out, but they both go out. I don't know. I like MMA in a gi. I'm kind of I'm kind of down with this. I, I have other rules in mind. I've always had in mind. Maybe maybe I should start promoting this. Hope you guys are enjoying this awesome Ganojima action. We see six jabs pumped out there that weren't finding the mark, and the end of the third and I believe final round. Are they gonna tally up the points now? Do we go to judges? What the heck? happens i don't know they don't know nobody really knows they kind of just i don't know figure it out as they go along i think Ooh, fly knee to the body but gets ringed out there Land some hammer fists here. We see some highlights of the ground and pound action. I don't know. Is it's Nissan she go five second stand ups before? As long as the Japanese guy is the one putting out the punishment, it looks like we got 15 20 seconds of ground and pound on the ground. Am I just having a little fun? Of course, I'm just having a little fun, guys. My commentary style isn't quite so open and fluid uh, when I'm doing real commentary work, but here for your enjoyment is yet another Garujima fight that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And we see the kickboxing skills of Machida. Does someone want to set me up with a guy who works at the local grocery store? we got a food bagger that needs some money because, I mean, it'd probably be fun to just beat up a completely helpless uh, individual that's never been in a fist fight before that had all of I don't know, two-year middle school, three-year, uh, maybe two-year high school level wrestling. Uh, another one from Sorry, Mr. Ken Cade. I hope that you uh, survive this. And the winner of no surprise is Hikaru Achida. Hope you guys liked it. What do you think? Kickboxing versus Coach D. Iranian wrestling. Which styles are we going to see next? I have absolutely no idea. Get down there in the comments below because I know you are all experts because you've watched some videos on YouTube. You're obviously experts in hand-to-hand -hand fighting skills. Know which style is the best. Get down there in the comments below and subscribe. Like, and I'll catch you on the flip side in the next Garojima. Gambate! Bye, everyone, and I'll catch you.